Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to uninstall Valorant. And of course, I'm gonna give you some bonus tip at the end of the video, some additional tip. So please stay at the end, very end, okay? So the very first one, of course, is very obvious. We need to close everything that is related to Valorant first. So let me just close Riot Games. And then on the right side of your PC, there should be an arrow, click on it. These are the hidden icons. So make sure the Riot Games or Riot Client is not running on the background. So simply click on Exit for that one. Same goes for Riot Vanguard. Click on Escape, it's Vanguard. And then basically with this one, click on Yes. So here's another option on removing the background resources of Riot or Valorant. So make sure you go to Task Manager. To enter Task Manager, so simply right click on the taskbar and simply type in or click Task Manager right there. Once it's opened up, so the thing you need to look for are Valorant, Riot, and Riot Vanguard. So if you cannot see it manually, of course, just select one and type the letter V. The good thing about Task Manager is that it's going to be alphabetically arranged. So as you can see right there, there is no Valorant running on my background as of now because I am not playing Valorant. However, you need to remove this one, Vanguard. And next up is Riot. Let's just look for Riot right there. As you can see, I don't have Riot anymore on my end because I already removed it earlier. Anyway, just for the sake of the discussion, for example, you see Riot here or Valorant, please remove it by clicking right click and click on end task. Now we have just removed Riot client and Riot Vanguard on our background resources. Next up is gonna be going to control panel. So there are two ways to get inside the control panel. So first things first, click on control panel of course. And then once you click on that one, you'll see this option, right? You can see under programs is uninstall program. And this is the first way of getting this exact control panel issue. And next one, if you remove that one and just type in basically on your search bar, you type app with that CPL. Basically, it's the same thing. We're going to get back here. Now, once you're here, just look for any Valorant related applications. So there is right client right there. So quickly click on uninstall with this one. And then once you remove right client, you can also uninstall uh, right Vanguard. So I'm not technically going to uninstall on my end because it may cost me some problems in the near future because they're perfectly working right now. But anyway, just simply click on install and you're good to go. Next up, if you already uninstalled client and Vanguard, next thing you want to install, of course, is the Valorant game itself. So don't forget this exact game of Valorant. Also, install it. It's just one click of button right here. Next up, so we have an installed Valorant, right client and right Vanguard in um, control panel, right? Before proceeding to the next one, make sure you did the local game files. Basically for this one, go on your search bar and then look for local DC. So click on your file explorer, go on local DC. And here you can look for Valorant or Riot Games, this one right here. So delete everything you see here, like so. Once you delete it, you're gonna be good to go to proceed to the next step. So let me just proceed to the next step right now. So on this one, click on run command make sure it's going to be this one it should look like this and again guys make sure you type in local app data after clicking local app data you should see this part it should open up as it is and look for valorant if you cannot find it of course highlight anything here click on letter v and make sure you find this folder now there are two things to take sure that you remove it properly or uninstall it properly after deleting Valorant as it is, just simply delete the folder and you're good to go. I want you to look for Riot Games also. Remove it as it is, so everything will be a clean slate. Because if you only remove Valorant, please take note about this one. You will leave some data behind that may cause some improper installation earlier or the next time you install it. There might cause a corruption. So I suggest remove Valorant as long as Riot Games also. And that being said, you could be good to go. We have an additional tip for you, for all of the um, people or audience that stayed at the end of the video. So the bonus tip for you is going to be this website, Wise Cleaner. It's just another step on cleaning any hidden files. Because what we did earlier, there are still hidden files 
that are inside your computer. So we're going to use this one. This is the link. And this is going to be the website or rather third party application once it's fully installed. So it's much like control panel. Just look for the exact application we're trying to uninstall. For example, right client. Make sure you highlight everything and let's look for Valorant one more time. And simply click on uninstall on this button right here and you'll be good to go. Basically, it's just the same as control panel. And that's it. Now, for some reason, you have already successfully uninstalled Valorant on your PC and you want to reinstall it. So open any browser of your choice. Go to the website. So this should be the landing page of Valorant. This is the link and it may differ on the end because this is single per server. If you're using, I think, um, North America server or any other C, Asia server. Anyway, this should be the landing page also. Simply click on play free on this one. And then once you click on play free, sign in or make one account and simply install Valorant from the file download. Basically, that's it. Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.